lights are objects that can be placed onto your ceilings and then put in position onto your ceiling grids. To place a light fixture, you need to come underneath the Architecture tab, and you'll notice that there are no light tools showing up here. To place a light, you need to come underneath your components. Here on the Type Selector list, you'll be able to click and see if there are any lights loaded into your project. We're going to need to load in some lights into our project environment. Select on Load Family on the ribbon. It should take you to whatever your default directory is. In most cases, it's going to be the US Imperial Directory. And we're going to be looking for lighting. Double click to open up lighting. From here, it's broken up into two individual categories. There's going to be architectural and then MEP. The only difference really between architectural and MEP is that MEP has little connectors associated with it that allow you to connect wire to them. So if you want to take it back to your circuit, you can. If you're doing architectural work though, you're best served to just open up the architectural environment. You'll see external lights versus internal lights. This is inside of a building. So we're going to do internal. Here we see a variety of different lights. And if we highlight on one, and if you pick the down arrow on your keyboard, you'll be able to scroll through all these different variations of lights that come with the Revit software. Now, the one that I want to pick is going to be this Troffer Light 2x4 Parabolic. Select on Open to that. Then move your mouse over into the area where we can place this light in. What these lights will try to do is they'll try to place themselves automatically along this ceiling. Depending on what kind of light family it is, and that's what these are called, or families, some will like to be placed along the surface of a ceiling. Others will like to be embedded into the ceiling. And it just comes down to what type of light they are and what it is that they're supposed to do. One thing that you'll notice is that this light fixture is right on the center of where my cursor is at. Unfortunately, that makes it pretty much impossible for me to snap to any spot along the grid. So to place this, my own trick is to come in the general area where you want it to be. In this case, I'm going to put the light right inside of this square that I'm circling myself around. But since I can't click on an intersection to place it very easily, I'm just going to click once right here. And I'm going to hit escape a couple of times to get out of the insertion command. Now select on that light fixture right on the edge will work and come up here to this command here. It's called the rotate command. For the angle, we're going to type in 90. We're going to rotate it around 90 degrees. Then click the enter key on the keyboard. See how it spun it around 90 degrees at that time? Once the light has been highlighted and rotated around, come up here and select on not the rotate command, but on the move command now. When you pick on move, you can pick an intersection, in this case, the corner of that light fixture. And you'll also be able to move over and pick the intersection of where those two lines come together. And as a result of that, if you hit escape a couple of times, you'll now be able to place that light fixture directly on the ceiling grid where it belongs. If they happen to not be lined up exactly where you want them to be, if you select on one of the individual lines, you can either use the move command to move the grid over, or you can even use the arrow keys on your keyboard to nudge it over, and you'll notice that your light fixtures will follow that particular ceiling grid, no matter if you nudge it up or you nudge it back down again.